Gryffindor! As you can tell, I'm obviously a Harry Potter fan. Hey guys, it's me, Maiba, and this week's theme on Seven Wells Fine Girls is Halloween. And I'm super, super, duper sorry that I haven't posted in forever. I really didn't have the passion to post anymore. And I just started middle school, so there's thing called homework and social life. And I've been doing way more activities, being on SWG and filming for SWG every week. Being on SWG and filming for SWG every week wasn't like my main thing that I used to do like on the summer I was always filming for SWG every week because like I didn't have anything to do when I got into school especially middle school I just got to middle school and I said great okay, six months and now I've done a lot more activities and all that stuff it's really been hard focusing on SWG but now I've really missed it after being a little my little break and now I'm back and better than ever people That's my annoying loud neighbors. And today I'm going to do Halloween do's and don'ts. So let's get started. Whoosh. Or this way. Whoosh. If you're like 14 or even 13 younger, do go to treat with adult supervision or just some friends because like this world is a dangerous world. You just want to be safe all the time. Don't go trick or treating alone. And the scariest part of the new world, like, what are you thinking? Like, just do don't do be that. creative and unbasic with your Halloween costume. Don't be basic. Basically, that's it. Just don't be basic. Go trick or treating on time so you get a lot of candy. Don't go trick or treating super late because, like, you'll get no candy because all the lights are going to turn off and everybody's going to go trick or treating. So, you don't know what's going to happen. You, again, do go trick or treating on time. Don't go on trick or treating super early because, like, Ready, so you get no candy. So just remember, go trick or treating just a little bit early, so you get like all the good candy. Go trick or treating for a long time, so you can get a lot of candy. So you can be like Cambridge, like come on, candy. Hey. <laughs> Don't go trick or treating for like a short amount of time, like for like 30 minutes, because you get like like 20 pieces of candy. Like come on, like, give out pink size bars, because everybody like you will be the favorite neighbor of the neighborhood, because like if you give pink size bars on on Halloween, like. Don't give out toothbrush hands. Healthy stuff. <sighs> Gives me the chills even talking about that. Cause like everybody will hate you, so you don't want to be hated in your neighborhood, or do you? Um, Thank you all so much for watching my video this week on Seven Wells Fine Girls. And to get a possible shot in my next week's video, comment down below what is your favorite holiday. Mine with the flavor Christmas. Christmas is number one. But Halloween comes is like my second favorite holiday, holiday because like candy is like awesome yeah and disclaimer i'm not saying like if you do these things like you're a terrible person and you should be bashed for it just like i feel like if you like like for example if you go trick-or-treating later that's totally fine if you go trick-or-treating earlier that's totally fine if you be, want basic that's totally fine if you want to be not basic that's totally fine just basically what i think will be best like being uh, the, the basically what like just my opinions in general and like just like what would happen basically like if you go trick-or-treating really late you won't get as much candy and i'm pretty sure a lot of people want a lot of candy but if you don't want a lot of candy then go trick-or-treating super late and now this is over and like again i'm super sorry for not posting but i will start trying to post every week and you know i'm back and better than ever yes i will see you all later peace out.